Hello fellow trailblazers, welcome back to the second review of the digital, well, financial products that I use. My name is TK Ntebe and on this platform we talk about money, travel and of course lifestyle. Yes, I love my wines, I love my gins, I love my alcohol. <laughs> Don't judge. So in today's video I'm reviewing uh, First National Bank. And for me what a lot of people actually don't know about my relationship with FNB is it really started as far back as in 1995 with the Bob account when I was really in grade one. Yes, I just gave away how old I am, but I'm not ashamed of that. <laughs> so my relationship with FNB has really been, has stood the test of time. And I'll be very honest to say that those many, many years with FNB has have really been good. You know, I went as far as my salary at some point in time was paid into the account. And again, I also love how they segment their accounts. The issue, however, is when I had to move my account or my salary to another bank because of changing jobs and the likes, is they downgraded. Yes, they downgraded me from premium, uh, premier to the gold lifestyle account. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> I've been so loyal to you. But anyway, I understand why they did that. So for me, I absolutely love the fact that they segment the customers, like I mentioned. And I love the fact that the cards are really very flexible. What I mean by flexible is when it comes to online banking or online transacting, the card is really, really reliable. And for me, I've been overseas with the FNB card and it's worked seamlessly. What is important, however, is for you to let them know such that they don't think your account, your card is um exposed to a lot of fraud so let them know before you go overseas but you can literally use and i love the fact that they give you real-time sms's when you're current uh, when you're converting which is amazing the second thing i love about fmb is when it comes to payments sometimes we always ask people for their bank accounts and it's a really long number with fmb you can do pay to sell what that means is you can literally use that person's account, well, cell phone number that's linked to the account to make the payment. And it's just, mwah, I absolutely, absolutely love it. The third thing I love about FNB is, guys, I don't need to have a card with FNB. I can literally go on for weeks and months without a card and I still be able to transact either via e-wallet, either via uh, withdraw from account from the ATMs. It is amazing. And the app is also very, very convenient. I also have FNB Lesotho and FNB South Africa. So sometimes I use them interchangeably, which is seamless. The fifth thing I love about FNB is the savings pocket. For all of us who don't like to save, the savings pocket really allows you, as you're swiping, it takes a chunk or a bit of money, whatever you're comfortable with, and it puts it into your savings account, well, your savings pocket. And when the time comes for you to... Uh, those rainy days when those emergencies come, Utlofman, oh, damn it, I actually have 100 bucks available or 200 bucks that, you're being, that the bank has been saving for you as you're transacting. What I don't particularly like or what I did not like with FNB is the time my home loan was with them, the rate or the interest rate I got on that facility was really expensive. And I did sit down with them to say, guys, let's talk about this, hey? How can we, how can you help me become better? <laughs> And the Lolo response. <laughs> so eventually I ended up moving the entire facility, which was also another costly uh, mistake that I've made. Check my blog post with that. But I really did not like the fact that the interest rates was really pricey. I thought we had a relationship with them and I really was not comfortable. The second thing I did not like about them is when I got downgraded, they did not give me the option to choose whether I wanted to do bundled pricing or pay as you pay as you transact. Now, pay as you transact can really get out of control very quickly. At some point, I was literally almost paying a thousand rand just on bank fees because, again, I swipe, I deposit, I do that. But with bundle pricing, it takes away that cost because there's certain things that they give you for free. So I was really not happy with the fact that they did not disclose all the person who was helping me at the time did not disclose that particular thing. What I also absolutely love about FNB is lifestyle, guys. 
for all of us wine lovers, I'm even holding the wine glass. <laughs> Reminiscing about the good times, you know, FMB really knows how to throw a party. The Lesotho Wine Festival before COVID was one of my flagship events from a lifestyle perspective. So I love how they, they make banking simpler and easier and makes it easy for us to interact and relate with the bank. So for me, I wish that events will be possible again. But if not, I will still enjoy my FMB uh, wine glass and my wine and i do hope that one day we can really be happy again and enjoy the wine the wine fest was really a highlight on my social calendar what else don't i like about fmb hmm. ah, i did a tweet where people were complaining about the fees um i asked which bank was the most expensive in the sort of context when it comes to banking fees either on the personal or on the business and fmb was really i think at about 71 percent so for me uh that is a red flag for the group and i think that's something they should look into i don't know if they are i can't really say if well in fact i can because on standard bank i pay 240 a month for the premium and on fmb i think it's about 230 so it really is quite subjective to say which one is expensive. But let's, I think for me that when the customers are saying that, it really is amazing. The one thing I do not like about FMB as well. Okay, firstly, I like the fact that their business cards, if you have a business account with them, the card really looks amazing. Guys, they take it to the next level. It's embossed with your name and the company name. So how if you don't say your black card, you're like, boom. <laughs> so I love the fact that they have really amazing cards when it comes to that. But the one thing that made me move my business account at the time was the bank fees. And I'll admit, the bank fees on the business account was really quite... Ooh. Again, the business was really starting out. The business was starting... Um, I had not a lot, didn't have a lot of clients at the time. So for me, the bank fees at the time was really, really amazing. But I know... And I, they closed the account without even telling me, which was really a shocker. <laughs> But again, I, I'm not one to criticize and bash organizations. I give my personal views to say that this is what I feel. And I forgot to say at the beginning of the video, this does not constitute as financial advice. If you are looking for financial advice, please speak to a qualified, accredited, and registered financial planner. But until then, I kept the card as a souvenir. I kept the card as a souvenir to remind me that, you know what? <laughs> one day black cards <laughs> i check this money i check this money i love their um, um in closing the tagline is also really quite amazing how can we help you so you know i do i don't go to the branch a lot so i can't really say that they are as helpful as they should be but from a digital platforms i don't need to carry cash with them i don't need to go to the branch like i mentioned it really is they branded themselves as a digital bank, and I think they're doing well. And the accolades that they got really says a lot about them. And again, if you like this video, let me know which part of FMB you like. I know a lot of people think it's expensive. I, I'll, I'll put myself on the spotlight and say I do agree to some extent from the business side of things. But for my personal, I'm really happy. My money gets paid on time. My debit orders are paid on time. Seamlessly, I pay only 115 on my gold account, which is okay, given the volumes that I push on the ad. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment, drop your questions or comments in the description box below. And tag somebody, share it with somebody who will benefit from this conversation. It is still the Global Money Week, and I'm looking forward to the Lesotho Money Week that is coming up in April, later sometime. And I'm hoping that we can have more conversations around that. Until the next video where I will review the other two banks. Love, peace, more wine, more money, and positive vibes. Love, love you guys. This is Escapes with TK. And you guys, thank you for being part of the trailblazing community. Peace. Cheers.